I'm Josh from Vacuums R Us and Sewing 2 in Boulder, Nevada, Colorado, and today we're going to do an unclog on an Auric Elevate. This is going to be relevant if you have an Auric Elevate command or conquer that's not picking up well. It very well may be clogged up. Common place that Auric will get clogged is in the base down here. So on the Elevate, we're going to flip it over, and you can usually see the clog down here. The inlet is right here. All of the debris flows here, and it's typically going to clog right there. Sometimes you can see it down in there if it's super obvious. Uh, this machine's been had some serious use on it. it looks like a little bit of wet pickup. Uh, I don't see a clog right there, but we're going to open it up and see if we can get to it. These use a special bit. They're called Torx bits. I believe it uses a T15, if I remember correctly. I remember incorrectly, it uses a T20, as a matter of fact. So these Oryx, the new Oryx Elevate, is different than the classic Oryx XL and XL21, the Platinums, a lot of the machines that Oryx made uh, when they were US owned. The way that these base plates come off is, is kind of weird. We got one, two, three, four, Seven screws. So again, this is a T20 bit. It's uh, a lot of people call them a star bit. The base plate's gonna pop off here, and this will allow me better visual access to the intake right here. And I can look in there, and I can see there's not a obvious clog. There's a lot of buildup there, which is problematic. Another concern that I see actually on this machine is you can see hair kind of sticking out of the fan housing right here. It's very common that the fan housing will start to crack here which has taken place of this, and you start to get air leakage, you start to see hair kind of seeping out as well. So looking in there, I see a lot of buildup, but I don't see an actual clog, which is gonna lead me to the second half of the auric, which is the tube here. So typically, you got two types of clogs in these machines, on one side of the motor and on the other side of the motor, right? If you pick up something that you shouldn't, your clog will generally be down here where we were just looking. It gets stuck here before it goes through the fan. The other type of clog is when somebody overfills a bag and the clog actually goes backwards down the pipe into the machine. And if that's the case, these are actually really easy to get apart. You've got this silver pipe here and you have two pieces. <clears throat> They're pretty tight. They're hard to get off typically. You got that right there. And then this will lift and you can get access to the inside of this tube. You can also disconnect up here, up top right up here, and then you can remove the tube entirely, and you can see down it, and then if there is a clog right here, which is very common, if you overfill your bag and back up, you have a sharp turn here, and then you have a clog here. So that is how you unclog an auric.